In a world of lightning-fast cloud storage and sleek USB drives, there was once a clunky square-shaped hero that saved our data and powered the early days of personal computing. This is the quirky, nostalgic, and downright fascinating story of the floppy disk relic that changed technology forever. Welcome back to Objectified, the channel where everyday objects get their moment in the spotlight. Today, we are diving into the weird and wonderful history of the floppy disk. From its humble beginnings to its iconic status in tech culture, this little diskette has a story packed with innovation, surprises, and even a bit of humor. So, grab a snack, settle in, and let us explore how this unassuming piece of plastic became a tech legend. The floppy disk was born in the late 1960s, when computers were massive room-sized machines that only big corporations could afford. IBM, a tech giant at the time, needed a way to store and transfer data that was portable, affordable, and reliable. Enter Alan Sugart, an IBM engineer with a vision. In 1967, his team began working on a new kind of storage device, one that was flexible, lightweight, and could hold more data than punch cards, which were the standard back then. By 1971, IBM unveiled the first floppy disk, an 8-inch flexible plastic disk coated with magnetic material and encased in a protective sleeve. It could store about 80 kilobytes of data roughly enough for a short text document today. Back then, this was revolutionary. These early disks were called floppy because the disk inside the protective jacket was literally flexible, bending slightly if you pressed it. They were not exactly user-friendly, though bulky, delicate, and prone to damage if mishandled. But they solved a big problem, loading software and data onto computers without relying on cumbersome tape systems. The floppy disk did not stay 8 inches forever. By the mid-1970s, smaller and more practical versions started to appear. In 1976, a company called Ann Wong introduced the 5.25-inch floppy disk, which was more compact and could store up to 360 kilobytes. This became the go-to format for early personal computers like the Apple II and Commodore 64. These disks were still floppy, with a thin jacket that could be easily damaged, so users had to handle them with care like a vinyl record, but for data. Then, in the early 1980s, Sony pushed the floppy disk into its most iconic form, the 3.5-inch disk. Unlike its predecessors, this version had a hard plastic shell, a sliding metal shutter to protect the disk, and a storage capacity starting at 720 kilobytes, later jumping to 1.44 megabytes. This was the floppy disk most of us remember, the one that dominated the 1980s and 1990s. It was small, durable, and could fit in your pocket, Suddenly, sharing files, installing software, and backing up data became something anyone with a computer could do. Floppy disks also sparked innovation in software distribution. Before CDs and the internet, software companies shipped their programs on floppies. Games like Oregon Trail, word processors like word processors, like WordPerfect, and even early versions of Windows came on stacks of these disks. Installing a program often meant swapping out multiple floppies, praying none of them had a read error. It was slow, but it was a game changer for the tech industry. The floppy disk is more than just a piece of tech, it is a cultural icon. In the 1980s and 1990s, it became synonymous with computing itself. If you wanted to save a school project, transfer a file, or boot up your computer, you reached for a floppy. It was the symbol of a new digital age where anyone could create, store, and share data. The floppy disk also left its mark on pop culture. It appeared in movies, TV shows, and even music. Remember the save icon in early versions of Microsoft Word? That little 3.5-inch floppy disk became a universal symbol for saving data. And it is still used in some software today, even though floppies are long gone. The disk also inspired a sense of nostalgia think of the satisfying click when you inserted one into a drive, or the handwritten labels people stuck on them to keep track of their files. Floppies were not just for tech nerds, they became part of everyday life. Students used them to turn in assignments, gamers traded pirated copies of Doom on them, and businesses relied on them for everything from accounting to inventory. They were the USB drives of their time ubiquitous, essential, and occasionally frustrating when they failed. Here are some quirky tidbits about floppy disks that might surprise you. Did you know the first 8-inch floppy disk was inspired by a napkin? 
Legend has it that IBM engineers sketched the idea on a napkin during a brainstorming session, and the size was chosen because it fit nicely in a shirt pocket. Another fun fact, floppy disks were so delicate that early users were warned not to bend them, staple them, or expose them to magnets. Some even came with instructions to avoid touching the disk surface because fingerprints could ruin them. Yet, people still managed to lose data by leaving disks on top of speakers or in hot cars. Here is a wild one. In the 1990s, some artists used floppy disks as a canvas for creativity. They painted on them, turned them into jewelry, or even used them in music. A band called The Shamoon released a single on a floppy disk in 1990, blending tech and art in a way that was totally ahead of its time. And get this, floppy disks are not entirely extinct. Some older systems, like certain industrial machines, and even parts of the US military's nuclear arsenal, relied on 8-inch floppies well into the 2010s. Talk about a technology that refused to quit. The floppy disk may seem like a relic today, but its impact on the world of technology is undeniable. It made personal computing accessible, paved the way for software distribution, and became a cultural touchstone for a generation. From its clunky 8-inch beginnings to the sleek 3.5-inch disks of the 1990s, the floppy disk was a small but mighty force that helped shape the digital world we live in now. It is a reminder that even the simplest objects can have a massive legacy. What is your favorite memory of using a floppy disk? Did you ever lose a school project to a corrupted disk or spend hours swapping floppies to install a game? Drop your stories in the comments below, we would love to hear them. If you enjoyed this deep dive into tech history, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Objectified for more stories about the objects that shaped our world. Thanks for watching Objectified, where we bring the past to life one quirky object at a time. Hit that bell icon so you never miss an episode, and we will see you in the next one. Until then, keep exploring the stories behind the stuff we use every day.